what person in theater has <laughs> No, I no, totally. I mean, everybody Absolutely. has felt like an outsider. Everybody has felt like they've been made fun of. Absolutely. I don't know if anyone makes it out of childhood unscathed. Um, so my childhood was definitely a place where I was bullied for being different. Um, I've always loved wanting to, I've always loved musical theater, I've always loved Broadway. And in some places that's not necessarily accepted. Um, so yeah, I was picked on, I was bullied, I was, you know, shoved against lockers, I was, stories were made up about me that weren't true, um, humiliated, um, wouldn't want to shower with, you know, after football practice I'd run home. Um, it was hard, I mean, it was very hard. and. It's just a tough age. Especially in theater. I mean, mine's very simple. I was a football player through high school. And then uh, I decided to not play football my senior year. And then went into, you know, my junior year, started going to theater. And I, got, I did Lancelot in the school production of Camelot. And it was an entire assembly. And every football player I played with were just calling me names and screaming. And I'm up there. And then someone says, Dave, and I felt terrible, says, David, go look at the ticket line. And it was like 60 girls lined up. <laughs> and I went, okay, this is good. <laughs> I'm fine now. <laughs> Screw them. For me, at least, you know, being like a nerdy theater kid in school, I mean, self-proclaimed, you know, um, it's just, you have to find that, like, core group of friends, you know, and find your own support so that you can somehow ignore all the, all the other stuff that's, that's going on. And I am so different than how I was growing up. I, I was very, very uh, odd. I was an odd child. Um, I was, <laughs> you know, and I know I was totally outcast and, and, and not popular, um, you know, but, but that was always okay because I had, I knew myself. But, I mean, I was, I, I certainly was bullied growing up uh, a little bit. I mean, it, you know, in middle school, yeah, yeah. there was a bully that I couldn't shake, and I think I used comedy and being just yeah. a huge dork to kind of navigate. Go, navigate that. I made it a point to be friends with everybody. I was friends with the jocks. I was friends with the the um, gearheads, the guys in the auto shop. I was, you know, drama. I was friends with the people in the drama. Um, anybody that was different, I just I went on my way to look after them, and that was something my parents taught me. And I was bullied because of that. I was picked on because of that. Yeah, and that's different. also the, the premise yeah. of this show. Is yeah. it, well, it was different, um, but you know, different people can be extraordinary. Extraordinary. Yeah. Lola's extraordinary. It's not as, I think, as lonely as it as it feels like it is. You know, when you're going through that sort of stuff, you feel like you're the only one. Right. I think that's like everything in life. I'm the only one who's ever felt like that. But ultimately, you know, you grow and you change, you get bigger, you get more confident, and things change. I never lost sight of what I loved and who I am, and I fought for it, and I rose above it, and now here I am in my adult life, doing exactly what I want to do, surrounded by wonderful people who are doing the same, and uh, it, everyone says it, but it's true, it gets better.